This is Higher and Higher. Tennessee. It's the Appalachia Sessions with musical guests Keller Cox, Robinella, and the Appalachian Roadshow with special guests Lori Bertelkamp McKelvey of Fry, Jordan Wallace of La Follette Middle School, featuring the band Crockett, and hosted by Chris Blue. Welcome to the Appalachia Sessions presented by the East Tennessee Historical Society. This is our first episode of our regular season, and I'm so glad each and every one of you are here with us tonight. I'm your host, Chris Blue, and this handsome guy right here with the great hair is Jonathan Manny Manis. Thank you, Chris. And this is our band, Crockett. Come on, show them some love. This is a music show with a mission, okay? And our mission is education. We believe that language arts and music education are cornerstones of success. Our goal is to inspire each and every one of you by showing you that you can be anything that you want to be. Now, every performer on tonight's stage is from a place just like each and every one of you. Abandoned coal towns, hills and hollers, suburbs and inner cities, and each one of them 
triumph over adversity. Each performer learned how to tell their stories by learning how to read and write and write their music. But they didn't do it alone. They did it with the help of the community, teachers, families, each other. I hope that every performer on tonight's stage will inspire you to tell your stories as well. Why? Why? Because we are you. And tonight's audience, we have a lot of students. Is La Follette Middle School here? Come on. Is Thrive Knoxville Kids here? Well, I'm so excited that each and every one of you guys are here tonight because we have an amazing show for you. All right, all the way from Texas, we have Keller Cox. Come on, show him some love. That's right. From Knoxville, Tennessee, we have the legendary Robinella. Come on, show her some love. And from the hills of East Tennessee, we have a Grammy Award winning IBMA winning. They are a part of the Bluegrass Supergroup. Will you please help me show love for the Appalachian Road Show? This is such a great song. I received 10 million views in three days when I performed this song on NBC's The Voice. This song has helped me go all over the world. I hope you guys enjoy it. Here's Superstition. Come on, clap your hands.
Coming up next, the critically acclaimed Bluegrass Supergroup, The Appalachian Roadshow. The Appalachia Sessions is presented by the East Tennessee Historical Society. All right, ladies and gentlemen, please help me welcome. They are Grammy Award winning, IBMA Award winning. They are from the Bluegrass Supergroup. They are the Appalachian Roadshow. Come on, show some love for them. Welcome, 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 welcome to the show and welcome to the Appalachian Sessions. Thank you guys for we being feel, here. We feel right at home here. Yes, sir. You are <laughs> yeah, at home, yeah. right? They're at home, right? <laughs> awesome. I feel at home. My first professional gig was actually on this stage. Is that right? I was about 16 years old, yeah. So, okay, so introduce yourselves. What are your names? Uh, my name's Barry Abernathy. I'm from L.J., Georgia. I'm Jim Van Cleve, and uh, I live in Nashville. Nashville, and, and who do we have back here? Todd Phillips, Nashville. I'm Zeb Snyder from Lexington, North Carolina. Daryl Webb from Jolo, West Virginia. Come on, give it up for him. That's awesome. That's awesome. So tell me this. Tell me, tell me about yourselves. Give me, give me a little back history of the Appalachian Road Show. Well, uh, about uh, <laughs> right before COVID, we decided to start a band, which is a great idea. That's what you should definitely do. <laughs> but uh, uh, I'd had an idea for a certain kind of way to present music where there was like a narrative that kind of wove through the songs and like tied everything and maybe gave a, you know, a historical uh, element to it. Barry uh, and I had kicked some, uh, kicked some ideas around for that, but then... Uh, we were both in different jobs for a while. We we toured together we for seven. We were in a band together for seventeen, 17 years. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then we took a break from that. And he was uh, he was doing other things. I was playing country music, and uh, he he took the idea that we had discussed, and he said, you know. Uh, I would like to make your idea a little more personal and add the Appalachian element to it. And so, you know, we're kind of uh, trying to make like a, uh, it's more of a cultural experience than just play some songs. Uh, we want Tony would call that plagiarism is what I would say. <laughs> <laughs> well, listen, it's safe here, brother. We're all home. You're, you're good. You're good. You're good. You're good. It's awesome. So tell me this. What does the future have in store for the Appalachian Roadshow? Well, right now we we're just... Uh, riding by the seat of our pants. We've got a brand new record out called Jubilation. I don't know if anybody's heard of it, but uh, it's brand new and we've got just under a million of them out in the lobby out here. And uh, we, we wanna make sure everybody knows about that. We're gonna be doing some songs off of Jubilation tonight. And um, we just played our debut on the Grand Ole Opry a couple of weeks ago. So that was Woo! awesome, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Thank y'all. Hopefully more of those. That's, yeah, that's man. And I just try to stay alive. <laughs> That's awesome. So you're going to play some of that jubilation for us tonight? Absolutely. Absolutely. It's going to be jubilant. <laughs> it's going to be jubilant, he said. Do you guys want to hear the Appalachian Road Show? Y'all go for it. Thank you, guys. Thank you.
She's the only one I love. When the moon shines bright on the blue ridge at night in our little cabin in the pines, and my blue ridge mountain baby, heaven knows where she's mine. <laughs> we talk a little about in our in our program and on our albums. We talk a little bit about Appalachian history, and uh, one of the things that we talk about is the industries and the different ways people made a living. This song is a true story. It came out of Galax, Virginia, several years ago about an old man that had been an old-time fiddle player his whole life, and he worked in the sawmills and in the logging industry, and he'd lost his fingers in a bandsaw accident years ago and the writer went and met up with him and I'll just let the song speak for itself. One of the most popular songs we have is called You Piney Mountains. Jimmy if you will. smoke woman don't you wait for me my hands can't fiddle and my heart's been broke you down on piney mountains lost my fingers in the gay like smell but he sang a sad old song and my heart got broke in the Pine Hills. Lord, and my time ain't long. I started out to logging when I was in my prime. Woman, don't you weep for me. Hitching up the spruce to the big drag lines You down old piney mountains Where the skitters start a bucking as the gears come down But he sang a sad old song Making God's own thunder on the new cut ground Lord, and my time ain't Fighting over nothing and drinking too hard Woman, don't you weep for me Riding up to camp on the flat wheel cars You down no pine mountains Thirty years of hanging on the old chain break But he sang a sad old song Laid off and paid off and And the 
Skinner got sold to a scrap iron yard. Woman, don't you read for me. We moved down Virginia when the times got hard. You down the piney mountains. Lost my fingers in a steel band song. But he sang a sad old song. Now my fiddle just hangs unto no wall. Lord, and my time ain't And the trees have grown up on the logging road Woman, don't you weep for me And the wildflowers bloom where the big shades blow You down no piney mountains There's nothing left for me but to drink and smoke But he sang a sad old song my hands can't fiddle and my heart's been broke Lord, and my time ain't long yeah. <laughs> from the first record here called The Old Greasy Coat.
don't smoke and I don't, I don't wear no greasy coat. Next, performances Thank by you. Keller Cox, Chris Blue, and an interview with Lori Bertle Camp McKelvey. The Appalachia Sessions is sponsored in part by Phillips and Jordan and the Mullenauer Companies. Our next guests from Thrive Knoxville are coming to the stage, and they are Lori, Angel, and Nasaya. Come on, show them some love. All right, all right. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the stage. And what is your name? My name is Lori Bertelkamp McKelvey. It's a pleasure to meet you. And who do we have here? I'm I'm Angel. I'm Nasaya. Okay. Angel and Nasaya. All right, so tell us about Thrive Knoxville and what you guys are doing over there. We are a Christian after school ministry and we serve in north, south, east, and west Knoxville. We have sites all over the city. We minister to at-risk youth so we bring them in after school we serve them meals but our main goal is their spiritual first we want to deal with their spiritual life and get them in a good place we focus on um, emotional then academic and then physical needs we, we just it's a holistic approach we feel like by pouring into each kid putting a caring adult with an at-risk youth it's a better outcome for the child. And we start in first grade and go all through high school. That's awesome. That's awesome. Come on. Wow. That's beautiful. 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 All right. So t tell me a little bit about you. Where are you guys from? Um, we're from Knoxville, Tennessee. Okay. From Knoxville. Great, great, great. <laughs> and um, what, do you, what do you long to do as you get older? What do you want to achieve in life? Um, when I get older, I want to be a, become a nurse, a traveling nurse. Beautiful, beautiful. When I get older, I want to be a cosmetologist. Cosmetologist. Nice. That's beautiful. That's beautiful. Well, we are so, so glad that you guys are here tonight, and we really, really hope that God continues to just shine his light on what you're doing over at Thrive. We really love being here. This is an amazing event, and we're just glad to be a part of it. And if people are interested in knowing more, just go to helpusthrive.com. There we go. There you have it. Come on, give it up for Lori, Angel, and Nasaya one more time. Thank you guys so much for coming. This next song is one of the greatest love songs of all time. And it was written and performed by one of the greatest legends of all time. She's from East Tennessee, y'all. Her name is Dolly Parton. This is I Will Always Love You.
Ladies and gentlemen, please give a warm, warm Appalachia Sessions welcome to Keller Cox. I love it, love it, love it. So, Keller, uh, tell us where you're from, man. I'm from Houston, Texas. Houston, Texas. Come on, give it up for Houston. All right, so tell us a little bit about yourself. Well, I grew up in Houston, Texas, and, you know, this, believe it or not, I'm more of a city boy than a country boy, but we grew up listen, listening to country music all the time. We would, I remember when I was a kid, we would drive to church on Sundays and have gospel music playing, and then on the way home, we'd have the, the country station playing on the way back. So I grew up on, on more mainstream country, like uh, I remember like Toby Keith, Alan Jackson, George Strait, Kenny Chesney, those type of artists. So Go Kenny. You know, Kenny's from East Tennessee. You know that, yep. right? I'll show some love for Kenny Chesney. Come on, man. So, but it wasn't until I went to, to college, I went to Texas A&M University, and I found out what Texas, uh, Texas country music was. And it's totally, it's totally different, believe it or not, than, than mainstream. So. Is that right? I can't wait to hear some of that Texas country music right. tonight, bro. It's brother. more of a story, you know? So. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So tell me a little bit more about your story. How did, you, how did music change your life, and who inspired you to want to wanna be a music artist? My dad would always push me to play, you know? So I remember he, we would have these campfires in the wintertime, and he would always push me to play a three-song concert, and I never wanted to do it. I never wanted to play, but he said, just play me three songs, and he kind of pushed me, and and then I became more comfortable with playing around people. And I remember, you know, I would bring it out, you know, my, my guitar out on my own and start playing for my friends. And, and yeah, and then I, I discovered this band from Texas. They're called Flatland Calvary. And when I heard their, their music, I, I kind of fell in love with that Texas country music. And, and ever since then, I was like, man, I think I, I want to do this. And I didn't know how to, and I still, you know, don't necessarily know how to, but then you find yourself in positions like this and you get to share your songs with people like y'all and, you know, you just kind of keep putting one foot in front of the other. And, and before you know it, you know, I have people come up to me and say, how are you doing it? And I'm, I'm still questioning how I'm doing it, you know? So um, we all yeah. question how we're doing this thing called life from time to time. So amazing, man. Listen, so you're going to do a few songs for us? Yeah, tonight? we're going to play a couple songs for y'all tonight. So All right. Well, hey, go for yes, it. Yes, sir. All right. Thank you so much. Texas Swing Song. This song is called Making It By. My very own. Well, money doesn't grow on trees, but I wish it did. And Jesus hasn't come back yet. Maybe tomorrow he will. Well, I forgot to eat breakfast. My truck broke down. I back to work now. The sweat is streaming down. I can't seem to win anyway or anyhow. All I'm trying to say is that good things come a time. I don't know the reason why. Well, good things come a time. I keep making it by. Yes, I will. Well, on the bright side, I made it through Monday. But the other four days are still standing in my way. Will rain or shine, sleet or snow, I keep chugging along like a little tugboat. It's working hard, it's the only way that I know. Two years ago, 
And for some reason, this next verse just keeps getting truer and truer in my life. And I'm not sure if that's a good or a bad thing, but we're gonna sing it for y'all right now. Here we go. Well, what a week it was. I never thought it would end. Yet here I stand, money sitting in my hand. Made it to the other side Cause the grass in my feet Well it feels just right A cold beer in my hand And my baby by my side You know they say things get worse Before they get better A pot of gold is at the end of a rainbow But it ain't a day and so far There's no sign of both They say the grass is greener On the other side But from where I stand It looks a little dry Don't mean to complain I guess all I'm trying to say Is that good thing With time, and I didn't know the reason why. Well, good things came with time. I'm making it by. Yes, I am, folks. Thank you so, so much. Come on, one more time. Up next, singer-songwriter Robinella. Later, Chris Blue joins her for a performance of The Fool. The Appalachia Sessions is sponsored in part by R.T. Lodge of Maryville, Tennessee, and the Dominion Group. Ladies and gentlemen, please help me welcome to the Appalachia Sessions. She's from Knoxville, Tennessee, and her name is Robinella. So, Robinella, tell us a little bit about yourself. Well, I'm from this area. I'm from, area. I'm from a rural community, um, South Blount County, called Lan Lanier Community. And I went to a small school there, Lanier, and um, from not a very big family. I'm one of four kids, but a bigger family. Four kids in this day and age is a big family. Yeah. <laughs> That's pretty cool. All right, so you grew up in your family. Is your family musically inclined like oh, you? Oh, boy, let me tell you. We've got some good eggs and bad eggs. Uh, my dad's one of 10, and they could all play and sing, even if they just buck, could buck dance or play the, the juice harp. <laughs> and um, my, my mom's family, they would not say they could play a thing. But she's one of eight. They, none, not one. So, my mom can sing pretty good. Oh, well, I mean, I'm sh I, I mean, the odds seem to be pretty good. I mean, out of 18. You just don't go public with it. Gotcha. Gotcha. I understand. I understand. So tell me this. What does the future hold for Robinella? Well, I've been raising boys. I've been a wife, still am a wife. And um, I sent one off to be a helicopter pi pilot. So um, I thought I might sing a few more songs for everybody. All right, all right. Y'all want to hear Ramanella sing some songs? This is a story. Well, they say I'm a drifter, directed by the wind. I blow where I want to, what I want to now. Given gifts, but I've thrown them all away. Feel my soul with alcohol and make it through a day. Well, I don't know where I'm going, but I sure know where I've been. I'll pick up all the pieces of what's left to me then. I'll leave all this baggage and misery behind. That's my faith and live with everlasting. Say I'm a lover, K 
Casanova of today I love who I want to And then turn and walk away Many hearts I've taken To replace the hole in mine Close my eyes and kiss them But they won't ease my weary mind Well I don't know where I'm going But I sure know where I've been great to be here performing for you and uh, I know Chris Blue enjoys that too he's gonna come out here and help me uh, we're gonna do one together
next Appalachian Roadshow performs the La La Blues. The Appalachia Sessions is sponsored in part by Pellissippi State Community College and AmeriPlan Benefit Corporation. Our next guest is educator Jordan Wilson of La Follette Middle School. And along with Jordan is a very, very special guest, Miss Peyton Wallace. Welcome, welcome, man. Thank you guys for coming. How are you, Peyton? So glad you guys are here. So tell us, tell us, tell us, tell us. Where are you guys from? Where, 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 where are you from, Jordan? So we're from La Follette, um, which is a um, older town about maybe 30 minutes north of here or so. Pretty big a tourist attraction uh, near Norris Lake. Gotcha, gotcha. And you, Peyton, are you also from La Follette or? Yes, I am, but I'm originally from Florida. Okay, well, we'll give it up for Florida. Here we go. All right, so tell us your story. Tell, tell us why you're here. Tell us about La Follette. What's going on in La Follette Middle School? Well, um, La Follette Middle School's got some great educators, um, great kids, but um, we have a lot of adversity. You know, like you talked about, all these musicians have overcome adversity. Um, most of our kids have a lot of adversity to overcome, a lot of generational poverty and things like that, lack of opportunity. So, um, you know, just bringing these kids out to see such a wonderful show and meet you and see you perform, it's a big deal for these kids. Oh, man, I appreciate that. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Now, I hear that uh, Miss Peyton here uh, has a connection with Juilliard. Is that true? I want to go to Juilliard. Yeah. But, like, I'm scared I'm not going to be able to get into it because, like, I've been working really hard the past three years so I've been, like, moving a lot. I've been mean, coming up and down. So it, it's, it's been really hard on me with my family and everything. Like, where I used to live, it was really, really hard on me. And music kind of got me into my, my own headspace a little bit. Yeah. Don't worry. Hey, hey, that's why we're here tonight, Peyton. We got you, right? We got Peyton, right? You're gonna do just fine and everything's gonna be great. Guys, give it up for Peyton Wallace and Jordan Wilson one more time. Thank you guys so, so much for coming on the show. Please welcome back to the stage, the Appalachian Road Show. We're about to have a spirit of jubilation right now. We're gonna need your help on this next thing though. Um, this is the most happy song you're ever gonna be a part of, and you will be a part of it. You ready to sing a little bit? No, try it, no. Are you ready to sing with us just a little bit more tonight? Yeah! All right, Barry's gonna teach this to you. This is called the La La Blues, and it's a blast. I'm gonna sing it, and then you sing it back to me, okay? A one, two, and a here we go. La La La, I'm a singing La La La. I said, I'm so happy, I'm singing la, la, la. Y'all can remember that, can't you? Here we go. La, 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 I'm singing la, la, la. I'm so happy. I'm so happy, I'm singing la, la, la. That's going to be your part, folks. Yeah, it is. Here we go. So song song before you ain't heard it while I'm walking out the door And it's goodbye baby Yeah I knew your time would come Lord I turn the tables now you're the one hey. on the bum Everybody sing yeah. with me And it's la 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 I'm singing la 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 Sing it loud I'm so happy I'm singing la 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 I'd be the biggest fish, honey, anyone had ever seen. <laughs> but I never would get caught, cause I'd never buy the hook and line. All the women try and catch me as I go swimming by. Y'all yes, sing loud now. And it's la, 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 I'm singing la, la, la. I said, I'm so happy I'm singing la, la, la. The Appalachian nose horn one time.
And you can tell old D-Webb's short and thin. I'm so I can squeeze out in any position this old woman's gonna put me in. Well, you see, I've got me this old thing. What is it, boy? It's called the Laughing Heart's Disease. <laughs> I'm gonna laugh my way down in the old place I play. portion of the show. Thank you so much. A big, big thanks to Thrive Knoxville, La La Follette School. Big thanks to Keller Cox and Robinella. Big, big thanks to these guys once again. Thank you guys so much for coming out. Happy Valentine's Day, and we'll see you all next month. Make sure you get home safe, all right?